I'm just going to take a quick look at writable volumes and out volumes. I'm connected to a Windows 10 machine. And if we go into Disk Manager here, you can see that I've got a writable volume attached. You'd also be able to see that through the app volumes uh, manager, but just as the user, it's just how I'm able to check it there. If I just minimize that and double click on file zero. Authenticate. So the test talker icon. Finish that, and what I'm going to then do is log off from this machine so that the writable volume is detached. So you can see there that I'm logged on as Horizon Admin. So if I now launch a connection to another Windows 10 machine, so this one's called Windows 10 Capture, and I'll do connect as, and make sure I connect in to the same Horizon Admin account. So it'll take a, a short while to authenticate. So really what this uh, video is gonna demonstrate or the use of at volumes of writable volumes are going to demonstrate is how, how simple and quick it is for me to connect to a non-persistent virtual machine and then install an application or, or capture some, some user profile changes or some apps and then port them and roam with them to another virtual machine. So I, as a user, I can use a pool of uh, you know, non-persistent virtual machines and my personal applications will roam with me. That saves me being tied to a persistent VM. So you can see straight away that the FileZilla shortcuts on the desktop, that's obviously roamed with me from uh, that Windows 10 machine. Just launched FileZilla just to make sure it works. You can see there it's come up. So we're all good with that. If I just flick back to my App Volumes Manager, you'll be able to see here in my writables that Horizon Admin has a writable volume which is currently attached. We know it is, we're using it. I click on attachments here and click the machine name. I see a few more details here. So yeah, I can see when it, when it was connected, how many times it's been connected and, and make sure the relevant users are using it. So that's just a real short overview of a writable volume and the benefit of it. As I say, it allows me to roam with my personal applications across non-persistent uh, virtual machines. So I don't have that sort of, uh, I guess, architectural and, and management strain that, that sometimes can come with persistent virtual machines. So I hope you found this of use.